When putting together a new PC, keeping your CPU temperatures down is crucial for good performance. But the thing is, many high-end coolers can really eat into your wallet. And if you're trying to stick to a budget, finding one that actually performs well can feel tricky. So let me help you with my list of the top 5 best budget CPU coolers out there right now. The ones that give your CPU superb cooling without drying your wallet. Let's head right in. Starting at number 5, let's talk about the Vetru V5. This one comes up a lot in budget build discussions, and you know why? It's incredibly affordable, yet punches well above its weight in cooling performance. It's a fantastic choice if you're mainly gaming or doing everyday computer tasks. For mainstream CPUs in those scenarios, it seems to do a great job of keeping temperatures in check. You can just install it and likely not worry about it again. Looking at the design, it typically features five copper heat pipes paired with aluminum fins in a single tower setup. The included fan usually tops out around 1700 RPM and is a PWM model. That means your system can control its speed, keeping things quieter when you don't need full blast cooling. Compatibility seems pretty solid too, often covering modern sockets like AM4, AM5, and LGA1700. And if you like a bit of visual flair, the V5 frequently comes equipped with ARGB lighting. Plus, you can often find it in different colors like black, white, or even pink. However, it's good to know its limits. If you're aiming for heavy overclocking, running intense non-gaming workloads, or trying to cool a really high-end power-hungry processor, you might want something beefier. It shines brightest with those mid-range chips. But despite all these, if you need a reliable cooler for a standard CPU when building on a budget, the Vetru V5 stays well ahead considered the value proposition. At number 4, we have a real heavy hitter in the budget space, the Thermalrite Peerless Assassin 120 SE. You'll often hear people call this cooler something like the Robin Hood of CPU cooling. And that's because it brings near high-end performance down to a much more accessible price point. What makes it stand out? Well, it's a dual-tower cooler, and it usually comes with two 120mm TLC-12C fans. These fans typically spin up to around 1550 RPM. Underneath those fans, you'll find six heat pipes featuring what Thermalrite calls AGHP technology. That stands for Axial Groove Heat Pipe, meant to handle some serious heat from CPUs with a thermal design power exceeding 200 watts. That's impressive cooling capability, especially considering its price bracket, often leaving single-tower budget options behind. Another thing people seem to appreciate is the installation. Thermal Wright uses their SS2 mounting system, which is generally regarded as straightforward. Plus, they often include their own TF7 thermal paste right in the box, which is a nice touch for getting good heat transfer from the start. Compatibility is usually broad too, covering current sockets like Intel's LGA1700 and AMD's AM5. But here's the thing, it's typically all business, no flashy lights. You usually won't find any RGB here. The look is very functional, very utilitarian. But again, if you prioritize raw performance over aesthetics, this might actually be a massive plus for you. Next, we've got the Scythe Mugen 6, a favorite among those building a PC who figure silence is not just a preference but a priority. Why? Because its main focus seems to be balancing good cooling with really quiet operation. You'll find plenty of discussion online about how surprisingly silent it runs. Much of that comes down to the included fan, usually a Kaze Flex 2 120 model. It spins up to around 1500 RPM, providing solid airflow without making a racket. Think library level quiet. But the interesting part isn't just the noise level. Scythe put some thought into the design too. It's a single tower cooler, but the heatsink is often offset. What does that mean for you? Better RAM clearance, of course. We've all seen builds where a massive cooler blocks the memory slots. This design helps avoid that headache, even with taller RAM modules. It's a really practical touch. Compatibility is generally broad as well, supporting common Intel and AMD sockets. So you usually have flexibility, regardless of your chosen platform. Now, here's the trade-off you might consider. Being a single fan cooler, it might reach its limits if you're trying to cool the absolute most power-hungry, overclocked CPUs out there. But for the vast majority of builds, especially standard gaming or productivity systems, it seems to keep things perfectly cool and collected. Yet, the Scythe Mugen 6 looks like a fantastic option if silence is golden in your setup. And then, we've got a name you've probably heard before, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition. Seriously, the Hyper 212 series has been a go-to budget recommendation for years. It's practically legendary in the PC building world. This Black Edition carries on that legacy, offering solid performance that fits the bill for most everyday users and gamers. The general consensus is, unless you're running something really demanding like a top-tier Intel Core i7 or a high-end Ryzen 7 X3D chip, this cooler should handle things just fine. Its design is a classic single-tower setup with four copper heat pipes. Yes, the core design has been around for a while, but people still find it delivers effective cooling. 
Cooler Master typically pairs it with their 120mm FP120 fan. This fan can spin up to a respectable 2000 RPM and push about 42 CFM of air at its peak. Despite that speed potential, it manages to stay relatively quiet during operation. Plus, the all-black anodized aluminum finish gives it a really sleek, clean look that fits well in many builds. In terms of heat load, it's generally considered suitable for CPUs, with TDP ratings up to around 125 watt. Think of it as an evolution of the famous Hyper 212 Evo, taking a proven design and giving it a modern aesthetic upgrade, adding to its overall value. Compatibility is usually good too, covering modern sockets like AM5 and LGA1700. And if you do want some lighting, there's often an RGB variant available as well. I'll say, unless you plan on pushing the latest high-end Ryzen 7000 or Intel 13th Gen chips with heavy overclocking, the Hyper 212 Black Edition remains a fantastic, reliable air cooler choice for any build. Okay, here we are at the number one spot. And honestly, could it be anything else? We're talking about the Noctua NHU-14S. Budget or top tier, you just can't talk about air cooling without Noctua entering the chat and the NHU-14S is legendary for a reason. Even though it's been around for a bit, its popularity hasn't faded. Why? Simply put, the performance and build quality are phenomenal. People consistently say that it can handle pretty much anything you throw at it. Overclocked Ryzen 9s, Core i9s, you name it. Under the hood, it's a beast. You get a dual tower heatsink design with six nickel plated heat pipes. It comes paired with two massive 140mm PWM fans, typically spinning up to 1500 RPM. This combination delivers cooling power that genuinely rivals some liquid AIO coolers. Now, here's the thing you need to know all that performance comes with size. This cooler is large. The 140mm wide fin stacks mean you really need to check compatibility with your case and motherboard, especially regarding RAM clearance. But Noctua thought about that too. Many users appreciate its asymmetrical design, which is specifically intended to improve clearance for memory sticks on most motherboards. So while it's big, it's designed smartly. Installation is also usually a breeze thanks to Noctua's excellent SecuFirm 2 mounting system. And despite its power, it's known for being remarkably quiet, often rated at 24.6 decibel noise levels. Plus, you typically get Noctua's high-quality NT-H1 thermal paste in the box and a lengthy six-year warranty. It supports the latest sockets like LGA1700 and AM5 too. Oh, and yes, if you have a Threadripper CPU waiting to be cooled, Noctua also offers a Threadripper variant. So overall, if you're ready to go up a bit from the budget threshold and you have the space for it, the Noctua NHU14S offers absolutely top-tier air cooling performance and quality. Thanks for sticking around. For more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the channel. Click the bell icon too, so you'll get notified every time we drop a new video at FlexiViews.